guys welcome to my youtube channel so this is tana mamus here and i am so glad to have you on this channel i'm sorry for um the long break that i gave myself and now i am fully back on youtube to give you quality content so moving straight into today's video we're going to according to the headline which i've already seen is how to save as a student from your allowance from your alawi as nigerians like to call it so most times we might be thinking that our allowance is way too small to save but i'm going to show you a way to save money okay i'm really going to show you a way to save your money number one thing is to actually have two bank accounts one should be your spending account and the other one should be your savings account now i know that you might be thinking that oh is it not just to put money here and put money there am i not the one with the atm card i will still touch it no the thing about it that more psychologically or i don't know how to just put it what you're going to notice that you're going if you try to put more discipline on yourself and you divide your money and you say this one is going to be my saving account this one's going to be my spending account and you see yourself touching your spending account way more than you're actually looking at it than you're, than you're actually putting in then you have to caution yourself very well and again most of them might be like no i can save and spend on the same account but it really really helps you to know the details and when you are looking at your figures or maybe you're looking at your invoice of how the seller of everything how money that goes in and money that goes out it encourages you more when you see that more money went in to your savings account than they were removed from there and sorry please follow me i'm really going to be looking at my notes here so the next point is uh, uh, attached to the first point is to actually please do this if you have a weekly um allowance maybe your parents send you money weekly i really advise that it be on a monthly basis because that will really help you to know um to really know what is really coming in how much you're really spending and to really help you easily to save the second point is save more first than you spend this is actually something that many people struggle with and something that i have had to learn um, quite a hard way for it to work for me like Warren Buffett the world's richest man of 2012 he said something said that we should first um, save before we spend you don't save after you are done spending no but save more first before you spend and what I mean by save more is that your allowance what you are stipulating for your savings should be way more than what you are stipulating for your spending you should not be if you really do want to be financially buoyant for stuff you want to do for yourself maybe during the holidays or something like that or you really do have a good target of uh, something you should actually work on saving more than you actually spend the next point is allocate stipulated amount to spend weekly now i did have an issue with this one because i didn't i wasn't aware of it until i had to caution myself and be like yeah i really do need a stipulated amount stipulated amount is that let's say you have an allowance of thirty thousand, and you have decided to save more like my second point you have decided to save more let's say you have decided to save eighteen thousand, or you have decided to save seventeen thousand, and you stipulate that in every week this is the first let's say this is week one you're going to spend just three thousand the next week just three thousand just three thousand just three thousand you have ended up spending the twelve thousand naira you have stipulated for your spending but if you are like anywhere benefits or you just pick the money at any time you feel like sometimes you don't touch sometimes you touch it and all that you are going to most likely not know what is going on we are not going to understand yourself financially you're not going to know the weeks you spend more like having a stipulated amount for a weekly basis really helps you to know your um uh, your expenses and to know what and it really cautions you um over reckless spending and impulse spending because you know that once you are done spending that money for that week you're done then the next one is whatever remains save like let's say for example you have stipulated three thousand naira for this week and you end up spending two five don't use five hundred naira to just go and buy shower man when you know you are you don't deserve shower man right then don't just move ahead like you save that save that money up or rather keep it for an emergency 
or for a book or for something that you might need it for or the other don't just do impulse spending on on that at the end of this video i'm going to explain impulse and reckless spending um then the next um, tip the fifth tip is gifts are savings also increase the allowance like gifts what i mean by gifts is money you get from friends cousins uncles aunties i know for some of us it's not that common for some of us it's very common like it's a lifestyle for some people like they just send the money anyhow and they don't even need it for stuff maybe you, you have paid your school fees you have bought your books everything and uncle just decides to dash your money instead of using that one to do big boy yeah gang gang like keep that money save it as well because that is a gift from heaven add it to your money as well and this is going to this um, sixth point which is my last point if i go to my bonus point is actually going to help so much and that is save with a goal when you um like something that i've been thinking about it and i've noticed it when you save and when you save for saving sake you are going to spend for spending sake when you don't have a goal or a reason for why you are saving money maybe you don't have every um you feel like okay i'm just saving it because i feel like saving it my friends are saving this one you are going to end up spending it because people are spending that was spending like have something maybe you want to pay for a course you want to buy something for yourself you want to do this you want to do that or maybe if your daddy is down with you you are super rich and you feel like okay if, uh, your parents are super lenient when it comes to money they don't allow you to really buy stuff for yourself instead of you just being like okay i will not save at all or i will just save there are other things think higher think better things there are people of our ages there are people of there are people in school that have lands there are people in school that buy their own cars true legal means like true viable legal means and all that think bigger things have a goal maybe for your future maybe you want to save and say this one i used to do business once i get out of school and all that save with a goal so that's my um fear point listen to this announcement before i go to the bonus points so for the two, i have two bonus One is actually going to favor public university students more. I'm so sorry if I raise university. I'll do my research and get back to you guys. So I'll get back to you guys in the comment section. So my first tip for how to really help you save your money is number one, please do your own cooking rather than buying food. If you focus more or you say, okay, I'm going to cook. See, cooking is not as hard as people try to make it be make your stew make quality stew on a saturday morning make your quality stew make your soup then that will last you throughout the week then any other thing you want to eat you can make buy your indomie buy this one buy that one you can make it yourself instead of spending 250 on outside guy every day for michai as invested in like to call it i don't know what it's called other place for michai use that money to buy it like buy that your uh, buy the indomie surplus make it yourself it's really going to help you then the second tip is please this one is also for private university students it's for everybody oh it is for everybody please reduce the car rides like i know it's very sweet to it. it's very nice to it. it's, it, it's dope to be on car but please reduce the car rides like it's really it doesn't really or more because when people have allowances that's when they realize that nigeria is too hot for them this country is not for them tell you enjoyment on a life joy please the money that cab most cabments are making from people i know people in the university that actually have that pay cabment monthly which is very funny because nobody is actually noticing it your lecturer just wants you to show up in class on time period so reduce cab rights Car ride should be like something that is meant for emergencies and all that. Okay, so I said I was actually going to explain reckless spending. Reckless spending is just you spending money just for money sake and you just picking out like, you're like, oh, there's 5,000. You pick it up and just squander on things. It's the one that you carry 5K and at the end of the day, you see 15 there and you don't know what to use the money to do. That is reckless spending. Then import spending is you just buying something for the sake of you seeing it. 
you buy it, you don't really need it, but you just go ahead to buy it. That is impulse spending. So it, I, many people have issues with both kinds of spendings. But if you discipline yourself enough, if you follow the points that I have given, I'm very sure that you can be able to save for and you can be very, very happy with yourself at the end of the semester, at the end of the session. And you can really tell that, that wow, when I was in university, I really did good with my analysis. So these are things I've actually used on myself. So I'm actually thanking you guys for watching um, this video to this very point. I love you. I'm very, very appreciative. So have a great week and a great life.